Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel blog project tutorial for beginner to advance. So here you can see we have some post over here. So in this tutorial, we will add a delete button over here so that the user can delete his own post. So in order to delete that, first of all, we need to add a delete button over here for each post. So for it, let's go back to our code and we'll go to our resource views, then home folder and inside home folder, we have mypost.blade.php. So from this mypost.blade.php, we are basically uh, showing all those posts over here. So below this text, we are going to have a delete button. So for it, what we'll do is that inside this div, after the p tag, we'll mention an anchor tag. And here we are going to say delete. Then for this delete button, we'll mention a class. Class will be ptn ptn danger. Since this is a delete button, so right now let's save this. Then let's refresh here. And here you can see we have a delete button for each post so right now we need to write a route or url for this delete so let's go back again and here inside this href let's keep two second bracket then we'll show our here url to first bracket to single quotation and then let's show our here our url name will be my underscore post underscore delete let's just show our here del then we need to give a comma over here and we need to also get the post id so in order to get the post id here you can see we use dollar data to get to show the post title and description so using dollar data we can also get the post id as well so we see over here dollar data id so here right now what we need to do is that we need to go to web.php and create this url so let's go to our routes then web.php and let me just go down and from here let me just copy this route control c then control v over here then here instead of my post here we are going to say my underscore post underscore del so here let me just remove this and we'll say this the route method will be get we'll use the home controller and our function name will be let's say the same thing you can use a different name that's fine but we'll use the same thing and here uh, we'll need to our auth because we'll only let the logged in user delete the data okay so right now here after this my post underscore del here we also need to uh, get this id so right now for it what we need to do is that we need to give a slash then to second bracket and inside it we need to say here id so let's save this so right now we'll go to our home controller and create this function in order to delete that specific data so let's go to app http controller and then home controller so let me just go down here we are going to say public function my post underscore delete and here we need to mention the id then we'll give to second bracket so over here we are going to declare a variable let's say here dollar data equal to we'll mention the table name which is post double clone find to first bracket dollar id after this what we'll do is that we'll say over here dollar data this arrow sign delete and after deleting the data we'll stay on the same view so we'll say over here return redirect arrow sign back so let's just save this here and here as well so right now uh, if we click on this delete button then it will get the id and go to the web.php and from here it will call this function with the id and over here we are getting the id we are finding the id and then uh, we are seeing over here dollar data delete so basically it will get the specific id and delete that data okay after that you it will return us to the same view so right now let's just refresh over here and here you can see we have two post over here let's say we want to delete this one if we now click over here here you can see it reloaded and right now there is only one dot over here so right now once we click the delete button let's say it will ask for a confirmation that are you sure to delete this so here we'll just use a normal javascript over here so after this anchor tag we are going to say on click equal to return confirm to first bracket then to single quotation and here we are going to say are you sure to delete this so i hope you can see it clearly we are just saying over here on click are you sure to delete this so it will ask for a confirmation so right now if we save this then if we refresh here and if you click on the delete button here you can see it is asking us are you sure to delete this if you click cancel it will not delete the data so right now let's do one more thing and that is uh, after deleting the data we'll show a message that data deleted successfully so here 
we'll say over here return direct back with here we are going to say message then comma let's say post deleted successfully so this is the message we will show after deleting the data so right now let's save this so we need to tell our browser where we want to show the message so in order to show the message uh, let's say we will show the message after this uh, header tag so here so after this header we will give a if condition so you'll say what here at the rate of if and inside this if condition we are going to show what here session to first bracket this arrow sign has again to first bracket to single condition if session has message and this message is basically uh, this one if session has message and let's also just in the if over here at the rate of in if so inside this uh, if there is any message then we'll show the message so here we are going to mention a class and let's alert alert success and then we are going to mention a button over here in order to close the message button and here inside this button will give a x sign then here we are going to say class it will be close then button type will be button type will be button then uh, we'll also need to say data dismiss equal to alert and we'll also say over here area minus hidden equal to true after this we'll just show the message so we'll give two second bracket and we'll show what here session this arrow sign get to first bracket message so basically if there is a message only then it will show this div uh, with the close button and the message so right now let's save this over here then let's go and refresh here then right now if you click the delete button it will ask us the confirmation are you sure to delete this we'll click ok over here and here it is showing us the message that post created successfully and we also have the close button over here so this is all about this tutorial so this is how you can delete data from the post table so i hope you learn something new from this tutorial if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section and if you want more tutorial like this then make sure to subscribe this channel i will upload more tutorial like this so thanks again for watching see you in the future tutorial